Hello FlossTube, my name is Sarah, I am from Memphis, and this is my channel about cross-stitch. Welcome to days 20 and 21 of Flossmas. Hello! Sorry I didn't see y'all last night. Yeah, I went to the Cheesecake Factory for our annual Christmas dinner with my girlfriends, and when I got home, um, I couldn't get my ring light to work, and it was dark, so just wasn't going to happen. Um, after a little crawling around the floor this morning and seeing that the cord behind my new organization system here was a little bit loose, um, I was able to remedy it. But last night I was just chalking it up to the fact that I, I really desperately do need a new ring light uh, stand situation. Anyway, sorry, we're going to have to do a double today. Um, today is December 21st. So on the news this morning, they were talking about today being really technically the first day of winter. This will be the shortest day of the year here, um, of the year today. I did not remember the times they said. I don't remember what time the sun's going down today. Hmm. I imagine it's going to be pretty early because I feel like it goes down at like four o'clock anyway, maybe 4.30 is being generous. I'm not sure. So, but after that, we are on an upswing, so our days will start getting longer again. I know many people will be happy about that. Personally, I don't really mind the short days. Um, yeah, cloudy weather, short days, they're all, they're all okay to me. Nice and cozy to me, but I know, it, I know it brings a lot of people down. So I'm not drinking any um, tea or coffee this morning. I am drinking a Diet Mountain Dew because, uh, boy, oh boy, do I need it today. I have plenty to do. Very excited. My husband's been out of town for a couple weeks for work, and so he's coming home today. So I want to get some stuff straightened up around the house so everything's nice and cozy when he gets home. And um, Winnie has got to go get her hair done. So we're going to go take care of that. And yeah, that's that's probably going to be pretty much what I, I need. To, I need to go to Target, pick up prescription and go to Target. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I could avoid that any way possible I would, but I don't think I can. Anyway, okay, so enough of that. Let's see what I want to start with. Um, I got some haul when I got home last night. I'll kind of put that at the end, but I want to talk about, just because um, we're already talking about my um, dinner last night, so we, we exchange gifts, and my friend, my bestie Chi, um, she's the only one out of my friends that watches. Uh, anyway, so we're opening the package from Chi, and I'm like, what is this? Okay, so I'm looking down to this bag, this bag, right? And I'm like, and y'all, I see myself staring up at me. Like, like <laughs> it was the craziest. I start bust out laughing. I'm like, what is going on here? So I'm picking this out of my out of my bag. And do you see this? <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Chi's sister is a fabulous cookie maker. And she took all of our pictures from our last uh, Cheesecake Factory get together and made them into cookies with our faces on them. Uh, can you see that? <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. It's so funny. I, I can't, I mean, I'm dying over this. What am I gonna do with this eat my face? I don't really know. I love it. She's wonderful. Thank you, Chi. It was such a sweet gift and then um, she probably be mad at me for telling off on her like this, but my other friend, one of our friends, unfortunately, wasn't feeling well, and she couldn't make it. And so my other friend's pulling her out of her, and she's like, well, I have so-and-so's face in my bag. <laughs> anyway, she just swapped them out, but this is so sweet. But I want to show you the other thing. Like I said, the other really fun gift, I'm going to open it while we're on here, that she had in our in our bags, because we're all tea drinkers. And we've even gotten together and had, everybody's brought their teas before, and we've had a nice little, like, fancy tea, and anyway, but she ordered this from my cup of tea. Uh, if you'll remember, they, I talked about them on Floss Tube number one. They are um, local Memphis business that is fabulous and changes the women in, um, women's in my community and, um, and a, a, um, established african-american community in memphis a historic community called orange mound it changes the women who live in that community it changes their lives um it's a great place they do great stuff and um anyway isn't this sweet 
This is this is wrapped so cute, but I thought I would try to open it while, because I want to see what's inside it while I'm um, with you all. But I also hate to wreck it because it's so cute. I'm gonna have to wreck it because I want to see what's inside it, and I want to show y'all what's inside it. So let me get my little fancy diamond painting scissors here. God, this is so cute. I'm just going to take the top off here. Okay. So this is a beautiful pottery. It's so nice. It says my cup of tea on it. It's gorgeous. Let's see. It's packed with some goodies. Okay. Now this. Okay. So we've got roasted almond, orange cookie, Japanese cherry, goji berry, pomegranate, blueberry. We've got gunpowder mint. I have never heard of such. Raspberry vanilla. English breakfast. Pepper cinnamon chai. I've had that one. That one's good. Um, strawberry. And mango. And then it came with some wildflower honey sticks. Each stick has 15 calories and is equal to one teaspoon for a 10 pack. Oh, isn't that cute? That's, that's, that's really cute. Okay. So here I'm going to open. All right. What am I, I'm going to have strawberry. When I get, when I finish here, I'll make a cup of strawberry because I want you guys to see, this is what I was talking about, how they come with these little cards on them. And then what you do is you put the, when you're, after you put your boiling water in here and you want to need to steep your tea, say, oh, what's this one say? Usually it's five minutes, four to five minutes on this one. So what you do is you just put this around your mug like this and it just holds your tea bag. Isn't that the coolest idea? I love that. I love that. So I'm going to make this when we're done chatting today for sure. For sure. So thank you tea bestie. I appreciate it. So sweet of you. I love my tea. All right. Um, so what else do we want to talk about? Um, let's talk about, let's get the advents going, right? I know a lot of y'all are here for Advents. And you're like, what the heck is she talking about tea for again? Okay, so I am opening two Advents with you all. Um, the first one is the Forbidden Fiber Company um, Yule Ball Mystery Stitch Along. I'm going to show you what and how this works is every other day we get a piece of the pattern and a um, new floss color. And on the in-between days we get a little gift. So this is where I am. So our last floss color would have come on the 18th and I'm completely caught up as far as the 18th. I'm through the 18th. Okay. So this is what we've got. So cute, right? This chart is by Michelle Bendy of Bendy Stitchy. Michelle Bendy. <laughs> Bendy Stitchy. Michelle Garrett. Okay. See, it's, we're having a Yule Ball. Isn't it sweet? So let's go on and open... And you know, I've been opening this a long way, but here's the cool little bag that came with, and I'm using my needle minder, and yeah, all the fun stuff. I've been using my scissors, doing it all right. Okay, so let's do day 20. This would have been yesterday's of the Forbidden Fiber Co. Yule Ball. Excuse me, stitch along. All right, pattern. Ooh, winter festival. That's a pretty blue, y'all. Yeah. So I'll put some stitches in on that today. Well, we shall see. I'm sure I will. I can't resist. Oh, this, this, this has taken over my Christmas stitching. <laughs> For sure. Let's do day 20 from the 25 days of Christmas from the kitten stitcher. This is a chart. Makes me happy. Y'all know I'm all about all of the charts. Oh, I love it. Let me get it out of plastic. This is from Plum Street Samplers. It is called Yuletide Delivery. God, this is so cute too. Ah! Get it out of the... Here it is. Get it up close for you. Isn't that cute? Let's see. It was stitched on 36 count vintage country mocha. Um, stitch count is 189 wide by 78 high. It is a mix of 
several, it's a, there's a lot of colors, uh, several different Overdyes and DMC. And yes, there's a conversion for everything. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fifteen colors. So isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. <sighs> yes. The reindeer is really pretty, and I really like the antlers, but I also really like the tree. Ah, I love it. That's a good one. Yay. I'm excited about that. I've been, I've been really enjoying all the charts I've been getting. It makes me very happy. <laughs> okay, day 21 of the Forbidden Fiber Co. Yule Ball Mystery Stitch Along. Cutting into this one too because I can't with all the crinkles today. All right. When I say that. Oh. <laughs> well, these are nice. Oops. Got some chocolate. Some chocolate kisses. Candy. Everyone needs a little sugar rush to keep those fingers moving. Enjoy these delicious sugar cookie kisses while you stitch, but be sure to be beware of sticky fingers. So these are sugar cookie Hershey kisses. Okay, let's open one. Oh wow, they're like white with like pink. In them. I wonder if that's peppermint or something. Very cool. That'll be a nice little treat later. Later, later. Okay. Let's do day 21 of 25 days of Christmas by Kitten Stitcher. I wanted to say, <clears throat> I really appreciate and enjoy all the comments I've been getting from these floss tubes. I mean, y'all are the sweetest and it's so nice, especially the ones of y'all that just keep coming back and saying hi. And you know, it's nice to do little check-ins. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Extra, extra happy holidays, Merry Christmas, et cetera, et cetera, wishes to all of you all for whichever holiday you may or may not be celebrating. Um, yeah, thank you. Thanks for checking in and, and making this, um, even more fun than it already was. All right. I'm just staring at this because you know, it's Gabby Barrick. <laughs> and wow. Merry Christmas wishes. Oh my gosh, blue is my favorite color. <laughs> I love it. I love this. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about it. It was stitched on a 40 count boardwalk from Color and Cotton using one strand of Gloriana. Um, choo -choo -choo. Stitch count is 129 wide by 171 high. There are two colors. A slate green and a lacquered gold. Um, we have Gloriana, uh, Needlepoint Silks, and DMC is what she's got the conversion for. Because, y'all, I don't know if you know, Glorianas are really, really, really hard to get a hold of right now. Um, my LNS has some. Um, in the past, when I've had a hard time getting them, um, I've been able to get some from Kitten Stitcher. Um, but, like... I was wanting to start with Leanne a um, a Chatelaine for our new year, new start. And so I have the chart and I'd ordered the kit a while back. But um, as far as I know, the holdup is the Gloriana's. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have a new year, new start. Although, you know, honestly, I'm going to be starting 12 things on New Year's Eve. So it might be okay. My new year, new start might be my Chatelaine when it gets here. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't think that's going to get here in time. I mean, it could just pop up next week and I could be surprised, but ah, look at this chart. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it. Also, I don't know if you've watched my regular floss too, but I make no secret that Kathy Barrick is like amazing. She is amazing to me. I know she's amazing to other people, but she's one of my faves. Okay, let's see what else are we going to talk about. I had a finish yesterday. Da, da, da. Not a FFO, although hopefully I'll have that an FFO done before I finish stop making these floss tubes because this was my Christmas ornament for my son. Polar Bear is done. 
and there he is. Oh my goodness. So, um, I did some changing on this and I don't have the, I don't have it in here with me. I think he was originally done on like black and the Aurora Borealis behind him was like green. So I changed it to a, a variegated that just made it more like Northern Lights looking. And then <clears throat> he is stitched with, whoops, three different kinds of whisper um, in his body, all those three different colors that you see. Um, I did learn a fabulous trick from Julie, um, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world, watching her floss tube several months ago, saying that um, what you can do to make working with whisper easier is you can um, stitch the bottom leg using regular DMC, like whatever the whisper color cor correlates to, and do the, just do the top leg in whisper. And um, that really made this very manageable. I need to fluff him up some. It's hard to see his fluff, but I'm gonna take a little, um, either a mascara wand like a, or a, a clean toothbrush and just kind of go over him and fluff him up some. I did put some little beads in for his eyes just because I was being extra. And I wanted to use my new beading floss. Where did that go? I know I brought it in here. Darn it. Maybe I didn't. I thought about bringing it in here. Um, well, I have the, I didn't use the clear. Oops. Oh, please. What do I do with that? Hmm. Oh, I want to show it to y'all. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found it. This is called Wonder Invisible Thread. You see that? Is that focusing okay? Um, this is the first time I've used this. I used it for his little eyes. Um, it worked great. I have it in smoke. This is smoke. And I have it in clear. Where did I get this? Might have got it on one, two, three stitch. Might have gotten it at my LNS. I can't remember. But I like it. Which is good since I'm going to be um, doing a good bit of beading. Since I'm supposed to be starting Miss Christmas Eve with Leanne on Christmas Eve, um, I wanted to show you how fuzzy this whisper is if you've never worked with it before. Let's see it. If I can get the light going through it to show y'all. Like, see how fuzzy that is? Yeah. It's all kind of frizzy fuzzy hair, so. <laughs> Um, this little, this little guy will fuzz right up. I'm going to just have to play around with getting him finished. But isn't he cute? Yay. Now I got to get busy on my daughters, which here's my idea I'm having. Thinking I'm going to do this one it's called Dancing Trees. And it's just a sweet little one. I am going to stitch it on, I'm not stitching all that blue background. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get this done in time. I am gonna stitch it on a one of a kind piece of fabric from uh, Forbidden Fabric Co. But you know, you get the kind of effect. You know, cause you can see it's kind of got blues and, and purples. And like when I stitch this little snow, there's like a little lavender in here. So that'll go good with this. And I think I've seen it where, like, people put on ornaments and stuff like this, Mary and Married and the Year. And so that's, I'm going to try to chart that in some sort of font that'll fit. Oh, gosh. I know. Talk about last minute, right? We'll see. It'll all work out or it won't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give it my best shot. Um... I want to show you guys, y'all, a couple, um, yeah, so that's my plans. My plans are to try to resist the Forbidden Vibroco stitching, the Yule Ball stitch along, stitching long enough to get going on this ornament for my daughter. And like I said, all the other things I've got going today. Um, I did get some haul in last night when I got home from my dinner, waiting on my front doorstep were some goodies. So my, um, my uh, small that I'm stitching for StitchCon this summer, um, it is finished in a specific way. 
and it uses Lady.Create's Peapod Velveteen. So I hopped on to Lady.Create's Etsy store the other night to order some Peapod Velveteen, and alas, there was none. So I messaged Lois, and she said she was working on it to go on and start stitching. There would be plenty, and while I was there, I was looking because the way this particular item is finished has some pins in it, and I was wondering if Lois had any cute little pins, and she does. And I haven't compared them to, so she has these well-rounded perennial pins and she has like summer, winter, autumn, and spring. And so I thought the summer colors probably were gonna match best with what my, um, my small is going to be. So I ordered these pins for finishing. I don't know, I know this is so glary. Let me just see if I can hold them up and take them out. I think these are going to be fine. I haven't pulled my floss yet and looked. Um, there were a couple options that would have worked for me, and I think these are going to be really cute. So let's see if I can get them to show without all that glare going on. Do you see them? I like. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, I like them. Oh, I think they're really, really pretty. And while I was there poking around, I should have gotten some more trim, but I, I didn't. I was just kind of, I got this finishing trims and charms, and naughty or nice. Let's see what's in here. This stuff's really cute. Whoop. Okay. Those are all pretty. Yes. Very jolly. Let me have a hook. And then we have, oh, pretty. Okay. We've got Joy, a snowflake, a snowman, a Christmas tree, a leaf, and some hands that are gloves. So can you see? I don't know how this is gonna work, but can you see any of those? Sorry, <laughs> I can't figure a very well good way to show those. But anyway, those are cute little charms. That was a fun little thing to get in the mail. Maybe I'll be able to use this for, oh, something. I am sure I don't use it this year. I'll use it in the future, kind of building up my um, finishing stash. All right, the other haul that I got is I belong to, oh, I got some cute Christmas cards. Yeah, I won't show those. Um, I belong to a So Much to Love bag of the month. So this is the December So Much to Love bag of the month. If you haven't seen yours yet and you don't want to, look away. Look at the snowmen. Aren't they cute? Inside. Oh, super cute. Let me show y'all what came with it this month. She always sends the best goodies. All right, so we have some stash Christmas Eve tea with some delicious smelling peppermints. These are like the big chunky kind that they're kind of like those buttermints you get at like baby showers, you know? Baby showers, yeah, baby showers. They have a super cute chart by Amy Brooken, Best Buddies. This was stitched on a 32 count sparkle gray with silver. Stitch count is 53 by 46, and it's charted in um, Fancy Floss and DMC with a conversion, and it's nine, 10 colors, 10 colors, nine colors plus a back stitch in 310. And she also sent us some little finishing items with this. So we got the fabric and the snowflake button. Very sweet. What a great great way to end the bag of the month club all right now did i get something oh yes okay okay this is gonna be a longer one sorry guys so y'all remember me telling you that my aunt found those needle points at the um at like the salvation army charity shop or whatever out in oregon and they came what am i gonna show these on so I do not know how to do these at all. This is gonna be an after Christmas project for me to figure out, but there's the snowman. Isn't he adorable? I think this is an interesting shape. Like, 
What am I supposed to do with this? Do I just frame it and he's in this teardrop shape? Or I'm not really sure how that works. Or if that was just the way they, that's just the style. I don't, I don't know. But he's really cute, isn't he? Yeah, I had to figure out how this works. Like, yeah. Okay, let me show you all the rest of them. So cute. Oh, I like this one too. Again, in the interesting shape. I love this little bunny. Put in the ornament on the tree. Isn't that sweet? That's really sweet. Um, this one, uh, the year on this one, y'all, is 1986. Just saying. Isn't that sweet? This one, I think these are kind of odd shaped. I like bunnies and I like a nighttime, but they're kind of funny looking bunnies to me. Like, I don't know. And the stocking, it's a really small, tiny stocking. I guess it's just a, I don't know, we'll see. We got another one in a stocking shape. Little happy house there. All ready for the holidays. This one might be my favorite. I'm not sure, like, uh, obviously this is the front and the back of this Santa, but like, is he an ornament? Maybe he's an ornament. What do y'all think? Isn't he cute? Yeah. And this one, I think this one would be an ornament too. She's cute. I don't know which one I'm gonna try first to do my practicing on. Look at this little guy. he's reading a book yeah so I am excited about those like I said this is definitely an after Christmas venture I'm gonna go take this up to my LNS Stitches Inc and get together with Jan and um I think Terry might do more of the needlepoint too I, mean, I don't know whoops hold on a minute no jamming and cramming Sarah hold up that one doesn't fit in there very well take these up there and see which one they recommend me um, starting on and get some little, get some pointers and some, and some um, floss, thread, whatever you call, whatever you use when you do a needlepoint to get going on that. Um, speaking of which, my grandmother, I keep looking around the house before I come in here to, to, to film a floss tube and I keep finding more, you know, needle arts. So my grandmother made me this. It has seen better days, but it has been on my Christmas tree every year since I received it. Isn't that sweet? So I think that's probably like at least uh, 18 or 20 count Ada, right? I don't stitch on Ada very much, so, but it's pretty small. Isn't that sweet? And she did this one on probably about the same count. Isn't that one cute too? Yeah, so I still put this stuff up every year. Super sweet, super sweet memories. Grandparents are treasures. Okay, let's see y'all. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's a lot, right? <laughs> Sorry about my technical difficulties last night and leaving y'all hanging. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to go over more goodies. I hope you have a wonderful first day of winter. I hope your holiday plans are moving right along. I hope you're not like me and you don't have a ton of shopping to do still. Yeah, I have to sit down today and see where I am with all of that. You know, stuff starts kind of, I'm a last minute shopper and a last minute wrapper. I just am. I always have been. I do pick up stuff along the way, you know, during the year along the way, but as far as like the bulk, it happens right at the end. So I really need to sit down and be like, I've got this for this for this and set everybody's stuff up. And then I've got to work on getting some goodies together for our Saran Wrap Ball, which I'll talk more about another day. But um, yeah, I kind of need to get my ducks in a row and get my list made and um, get out there and tackle that. So be safe, have a wonderful day, stitch, 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 and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.